Welcome to Pembroke Welsh Corgi 101. These are amazing dogs. They have a very, very long history. And with my research on the breed, I also found out some really cool fun facts that I'll share with you later. Now, as a Corgi owner, I can personally vouch that they are nothing short of magical. The word corgi means dwarf dog. This breed dates back to the 10th century, so there's a lot of history. Um, in 1934, the American Kennel Club decided to recognize this breed so that they could compete in dog shows. Here are some of their breed specifications. General appearance, low set, Strong, active, sense of humor, which is funny, <laughs> um, and huge, huge, huge personalities. Uh, they have a fox-like face with erect ears that never calm down. And they are long and slightly egg-shaped so that when they run, they are balanced. They are also 10 to 12 inches in height. Some more specifications of the breed. The front legs are short. They're turned slightly inward and they just don't appear straight. Now their back legs are just solid muscle. This is how they sprint. This is how they herd cattle and or sheep and run really fast. <laughs> Their coat is a double coat. So what that means is that the bottom coat is a woolly type fur. And then the top coat is a longer, coarser hair that helps them just stay safe and bear the elements since they are from Wales where it is usually very wet. Now, once they were recognized by the AKC, they were put into the herding category. This is a working breed. So when you have a dog that is in the working breed, they are somewhat intelligent and they need a job and they need to have tasks. And when they finish the task, they look for praise. And this is what keeps them stimulated. Now, if you are a corgi owner and you don't have a farm, you can make sure to exercise the corgi or you can put them in little agility courses and they love that because once they're done, they feel accomplished and again, they seek for praise and when you give it to them, their job is done. Now here's the interesting history. Uh, the royal family in 1933 got their first corgi. His name was Dookie. And um, they had him until he passed. And um, Queen Elizabeth just loved this dog. She loved him. So when she turned 18 in 1944, she got her very own corgi named Susan. Now, all of her corgis, which she's had more than 30, are all Susan's descendants. She was um, very, very involved in the corgi breeding program that they had done for the royal family. She oversaw it. She took care of them. She just absolutely adores these breed, this breed. Now, um, in 2012, it was the last litter that they had because uh, just she just didn't want to leave her dogs in case she passed like a good mom. <laughs> like I said before, um, corgis date back to the 10th century and they have two theories about corgis. One of the theories is that they were brought to Wales by the Flemish weavers. Second theory is that they 
are descendants of the Swedish Falhound, which looks like a corgi, but is taller in its gray and black, uh, gray and blackish coat, if you will. Now, in doing my research, I found these really cool facts about corgis. Now, they are known as being the enchanted breed. They were thought to pull fairy coaches, that they were warrior fairy steeds. So they were, you know, they used to ride them around and fight for their bread. <laughs> And also, they have these little patches of hair on their shoulder, which were called fairy saddles. <laughs> so they were said that the fairies would ride the corgis, and that's how they were in comfort while riding the corgi. In conclusion, this is my corgi. This is Ben. He is my best friend. I adore this dog. He turned 15 this year, and he's still just as vibrant as he was when he was eight. <laughs> um, corgis make am amazing pets, amazing. They're loyal, they're fun. They are actually protective of their person, but not in an aggressive way that makes any sense. And um, if anyone is considering a corgi, please do your research. Make sure that this is a good fit for your family and your home. And just know that this is an amazing breed and I can't say enough about them. Thank you so much. <laughs>